What's up guys? Tim from Olson Motorsports. So a lot of people have been asking us, what do we have done to our truck? So this, I think it's a 2018 Raptor and I'm super happy with the truck. It's pretty dialed in. Um, and we made a bunch of changes since some of our last videos. Most importantly in the front, we added a winch. So I did the typical rookie thing. I thought I was this badass off-road driver and I went out and totally screwed myself and got buried up to the, basically up to the doors. I had this thing sitting on a frame in mud and absolutely no way to get out. So $5,000 later, now I have the proper off-road recovery gear. So I went with, uh, I actually bought everything from the Swarfworks guys. So this is the Swarfworks, um, winch mount so i like i can't find a bumper that i actually like so i decided to stick with the factory bumper and then we did the uh, it's got the baja designs lights in here it's got a drum light in the middle and then we relocated the intercooler up here so it's got the full race intercooler on that and then paul also from swarfworks sent me his production model light bar so on the previous model we had the nfab mount and it was just in some of the videos you could see like it was so much flickering and the lights were bouncing all over the place so this thing is actually super sturdy um it comes off of the same mount so it uses two bolts down here but this thing's fully boxed in and it's extremely strong whereas before like i said the in the lights the way everything bounced and flickered it was driving me crazy and then also relocated the front camera here and you can get all that stuff from paul he makes it um, the front camera is relocated here, whereas before it was in this factory location and I could only see like this much in front of the truck. So, you know, and it, where I park in my garage, my, my truck barely fits in my garage. So I, that's really what I use the front camera for is I use that for parking, parking in the garage. Um, what else? We still have the rigid scene lighting up here. That's fine. I don't change that at all, but I took off all the rigid stuff up here. And I went with the Baja Designs XLR Pros. These things are stupid. So it's got the driving diffuse on the bottom and spot on top. And I've got it kind of pointed out towards the ditch. So that was the one thing I couldn't see is I really couldn't see what was coming off to the side with, you know, deer or if you're trying to apex a corner and it's dark out and you can't see. Um, so we changed that up from the rigid to the Baja Designs. I put, these are my off-road tires. So these are KM3 MUDs. They're terrible on the freeway. They're awesome on the off-road. There's tons of grip, way better under braking, way better under throttle. It's good in the mud. Haven't tried it in sand, but we don't have a whole lot of sand out here. So I changed that and I put the Ford Performance V-Lock rims on those. I didn't do it, had the tire shop do it because there's way too many bolts for me. Um, the other thing we changed up here is I went from our test set of JRZ suspension to the actual production set. So there's really no difference in there. And then if you notice all the new shiny pieces here on the front, I had a ball joint failure off-road at about 60 miles an hour. That was fun. Um, so I replaced the entire front left corner on this truck. So the front dampers are the same, but in the rear, if we come back here, in the rear, we used to have our canisters, we used to have our canisters mounted up, zip tied kind of up here. And this is a production set. So the production set has the canister mounted right to the body. Um, this one is still on the factory leaf springs. I don't know why, I love the factory leaf springs. I don't have a problem, I don't tow, so I don't have a big problem with sag or any of that stuff. But you know, a lot of people will change out the leaf spring because they think it's better over rough terrain. But in my opinion, with the lifting force we make in these in these dampers, getting the power down has not been an issue. I also added the SVC bump stops, which was a huge, you know, a huge difference for me, especially over big bumps and big compressions. I don't lose the rear anymore. So it's got the Fox internal floating piston set up on that with their bump stops. That's been totally awesome. I added GJ Motorsports, got us their third brake light kit. So this is outfitted with the S2 Pros all around. So I know that's kind of bright, 
but the beauty of having the Switch Pros app is I can dim it down if I need to. So that works out well. Got an antenna mount, so now I have an off-road radio. What else did we do back here? We did, oh, and I put in uh, S2 Pros for the rear for my scene lighting in case we're back here trying to pull somebody out of the ditch. And then next up on the list, the only thing I have left to do to this thing, I'm pretty happy with it, is I'm gonna put a rear winch in. Because my spare tire broke, the cable broke, and now I don't have a spare tire in a rear. So I actually put it, I actually just tied it up in the bed. Because I do live, I do live here in Chicago, so I didn't want to be driving around, especially in my neighborhood. I don't want to be driving around with, uh, you know, bed racks and chase racks or whatever you want to call it. So for me, this is super simple. I just put some e track in, and then just strap the strap the spare tire down to some D rings. And since it is coronavirus, I have my hand sanitizer set up here off of the uh, Built Right Industries rack. So when I'm out you know, getting gas or something or coming out of the mall after some shoe shopping, I'm able just to, to get my, uh, my hands clean. And then I put this in, this is just like a little flip out thing. Kind of sucks though, because the first, uh, first time I went off roading and I was all day and just in here, I have like a bunch of D rings. I got my snatch rope and you know, some of the gator jaws and stuff like that. But it's not very, I guess you could say off-road beefy enough. So basically the first time you bounce around, it comes loose and it just sits there and rattles around. So it is what it is there. Um, and then in, also in the back, I just have a bunch of E-Track that I have bolted down. And the E-Track just allows me to put coolers or whatever I need to strap down, strap the jacks down, strap, uh, you know, gear bags or whatever you need to do. Um, but I just like the fact that I'm still able to use my WeatherTech cover. Especially, like I said, being in Chicago, I don't have to worry about somebody breaking into it. Um, the other thing we have is obviously this thing's been off-road like crazy. You can see there's not a lot of scratches in here. The ceramic coating is held up extremely well. Keith will put some photos inserted into this video of what this thing has looked like and it's unbelievable so the paint's held up really well except for here and basically this is me being stupid and doing donuts for you know like 20 minutes so i just decided to do a bunch of donuts one day because i thought it was hilariously fun and then i realized that my front tire my front tires were kicking up rocks uh, all over the place you see how soft these how soft these tires are if you take your, uh, if you keep your foot in it, they just, they just chunk away. And that's just for me driving, you know, basically like an asshole around, uh, around the streets around here. My mud flap keeps falling off, but other than the mud flap keep falling off, it's been, it's been super reliable for me. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we've done exterior wise. Clear bras held up well. Keith will also put a, vi a shot in here of what this thing looked like two weeks. It sat for two weeks, completely covered in mud and dirt, and it had all of this imperfections. And basically the SunTech product is so good, you can bring it out on a day like today. Today it's you know low, low to mid 80s, and you can bring it out on a day like today, leave it out in the sun for five, six hours, and the stuff completely heals itself. And you don't see any scratches, any imperfections. It's, it's really an amazing product. Um, of course, I've always had my windows tinted. That's kind of like my MO. Um, I can't stand to see inside. So this one's 5% uh, all the way around um, to kind of match the, and I think I think they actually did, I think they put 5% back here too, even though the, the rear is already from the factory. So it's 5% all the way around. And then just because I hate to wear sunglasses, the windshield is, 20%. So I just don't like to, anybody to be able to see anything inside. Um, inside, what else do we have done? We've got, oh, we have a stereo system. So I've got, oh, here's my mud flap. I told you this thing keeps falling off and I bolted it in like 15 times. I don't understand why it falls off. I got my turd emoji because sometimes I get turd of the day. If I break my truck, 
But back here I've got uh, two JL Audio, three JL Audio uh, 12 inch subwoofers. It jams. Um, and then all the way around, figure out how this works. All the way around is Hertz, it's a Hertz Millie Pro. All the way around. Um, I'll go to the other side. I don't know the exact model, it's JL Audio, but I know they're, uh, is it the VX? Yeah, the VX, so I've got a 600 by one, and then I've got a 600 by six with the Zen Audio. So I don't have, I wanted to be able to keep, you know, the factory Apple CarPlay and the factory head unit. These things jam, um, and then there's no, there's component speakers all the way throughout the truck, but there's no crossovers because you can do everything through, through the amps. Um, so this thing, it just absolutely jams. And then inside, I mean, everything's, everything's stock except for we did inside we did the switch pros so we did the switch pros 9100d up in place of the factory sunglass holder that's why i have to tint my windows because i don't like to wear sunglasses so i got rid of the sunglass holder and then you know this thing's awesome i have complete control of all of my lights i'm not using i'm using one upfitter for everything, all the lights that we have, and that's just for my radio. Um, that's all I'm using it for. So down here, I've got my head unit mounted for my radio. And I don't even, I know it's kind of difficult to reach down in here and touch the, I mean, I'm it down. it's kind of difficult to reach down in here and touch everything, but I'm able to do everything I need to do from the microphone, which I hang up here. Um, so for me, it works well. This is just kind of like, you know, an area to put stuff. Um, so I always throw my junk in there, whatever I need, my hand sanitizer. And then for this, I just ran a little telephone jack here that I installed. And then when I want to plug my radio in, it kind of looks like it was meant to be there. Um, yeah, so this works out well for me. A lot of people ask about phone holders. I just run the ProClips USA. It's actually pretty good um, for me. Like I don't run a case at all on my phone. Um, I just run this because I can't get it in and out of my skinny jeans. So the case always is a problem. So on this one, I just run my phone like this. And then even off road, I don't know if you can see this Keith or uh, Prince, but I don't know if you can see this, but it doesn't shake around that much. So I just run that. Um, what else do we have done inside? Oh, I have the radio. The radio's mounted in there. So, like I said, this is the ICOM. Which model is this? I don't even know. I should know. I should have this stuff written down. It's one of the ICOM models, but it's the dual, which I really like. So, it's got two, you can run two different channels. Right now, this is set up on weather. But what I can do is I can change it. So, if I'm gonna, if I'm running with, uh, you know, a group of guys on the trail, I can run uh, this channel, the right channel is actually hooked up to the center speaker that I'm not using anymore because of my audio system. So what I like to do is I like to run the center speaker line, the right channel, and that's what the channel that I can monitor if I'm running with a bunch of guys. And then me and my buddies, if we wanna get on our own frequency and talk a bunch of shit to each other, which we always do, um, we're able to listen out of that. So I can hear two different channels going on at the same time. And then, you know, if I want to talk about, you know, you know, something with my buddies, that's not exactly colorful to, to speak to the rest of the group, we can run on a second channel. So that's why I have that set up. Um, other than that, my check engine lights on. I don't know why I got to look into that, but it's, it's all stock. The motor is all stock. The gearbox is all stock. The exhaust is all stock. Everything is stock on it. Um, I haven't seen with these tires, it's kind of a turd, you know, I'm not going to lie, especially like trying to put the power down on the freeway. It's, you know, it, it struggles a little bit. I definitely notice a difference with that, but 
off-road it's plenty of power and it's you know i haven't had an issue to put or a need to put more power into this truck of course i'd love to have it you know if you give me like 150 horsepower i could just do more donuts but then all i'm going to do is screw up my paint even more um, so i have left uh the motor the box the exhaust all stock it does what i need it to do and I'm not drag racing with my buddies. I have a Porsche for that. You know, if I need to get in and go fast, I just go grab the Porsche. But for this one, everything else is is all stock and we're 31,000 miles in and never been to the dealer for anything. So other than about six sunroof repairs. And the sunroof repairs are driving me crazy, but it's my own fault because I leave my sunroof open all the time and all this dirt gets up in here and just clogs up all the sunroofs so i think it's at least five sunroofs i've gone through i need to tint that because it's driving me crazy so that's a little walk around around the truck um hope you guys enjoy it if you see something or you know you want to make a comment about something that you saw that we could use um i like clean i like nice i like tidy i like good stuff um that just works so you know, drop us some uh, notes in the comments and let us know what you think. And as always, what are we supposed to do? Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I got to go because it's my phone's ring. Thanks for watching, guys.